Well, we were, we were very touched and humbled to receive this award. Um, I almost feel like we don't really deserve it because there were so many other people involved in helping us complete the Big Sweep, um, namely Big Sweep and the county, Alex Heinemann, um, and just a whole crew of folks that helped us make it happen. And also the 17 or so volunteers that we had that like did all the hard work that day. Ultimately, we're very honored, we're very touched, and it just motivates us to keep doing it in the future, so. For us, we, we, we wanted to conduct a, our own big sweep in our community just because we, there's a, a good stretch of the greenway that we see on a frequent, almost daily basis. And it's filled with tires and shopping carts and plastic bags and all kinds of refuse from local fast food joints and all this stuff. It wasn't until we kind of started to learn about the Big Sweep and, and what, what capabilities they had in terms of providing resources such as uh, kayak and canoe vendors and finding ways to, to get appropriate permissions to these, to these areas, uh, as well as the expertise of the staff of the Big Sweep. That's what really made us realize that we could actually legitimately go in and do something about this problem. It really made a huge difference. And I think we were able to extract over 2,000 pounds of trash in one day. I think it'd be great if Big Sweep could put itself out of business. It would be nice if um, eventually there were there was less waste, if, if companies had incentive to to be more um, responsible with their waste and perhaps produce more biodegradable um, products and reduce single-use plastics. Uh, and also just for, yeah, I, I would honestly love that if Big Sweep, I mean, I, I love the people in Big Sweep, but it would be great if it didn't have to exist anymore because it wasn't such a huge problem.